on the press releases that do June Saturday. And we are, of course, disappointed with today's decision. But I suspect that this sanction of further incarceration will be exactly as coercive as the previous sanction, which is to say not at all. It is telling that the United States has always been more concerned with the disclosure of those documents than with their damning substance. American government relies upon the informed consent of the governed. And the free press is the vigorous mechanism to keep us informed. It has been a point of pride for this administration to be publicly hostile to the press. Grand juries and prosecutions like this one function to undermine the system of American government according to the American government's own laws. This administration is also obsessed with unwinding Obama's legacy from health care to Chelsea's commutation. It is up to the press to stand up for themselves, to stand up for the practice of journalism, and to stand up for Chelsea in the way that she has consistently stood up for them. As was stated in open court, Chelsea Manning has been lawfully subpoenaed to testify in an investigation. She's also been given immunity to protect herself from self-incrimination, meaning she can speak freely. The only thing that is being asked of her is to come answer questions truthfully. As someone who received the incredible gift of a commutation, was literally given 28 years of her life back, she now refuses to simply answer questions as part of our constitutional criminal justice process. It's interesting that she has such an abhorrence for grand juries, given that that mechanism is set forth in the Fifth Amendment and stands as a bulwark against unchecked prosecutorial power. And its secrecy protects the innocent by not subjecting them to public scrutiny when no indictment is returned. That's especially interesting given that she swore an oath to defend and support that same constitution as a soldier. I'd also like to state as her lawyers have repeated at nauseum, we have bent over backwards to accommodate Ms. Manning's medical needs, postponed her return to court today so she could have additional time for an appointment, and never once made this about anything other than obtaining immunized testimony in furtherance of an investigation. No one wants Miss Manning out of contempt proceedings more than me. All we want is for her to truthfully answer questions as our constitutional republic requires of our citizens.